Hey, 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 it's your girl Davika and welcome back to my channel. It is currently July, Wednesday, July 28th at about 6.30 p.m. And I am just getting home for the day. I had a full day of work, but I actually got to knock off early. So my schedule today was from 8 to 6. But all my babies were gone home. Like the last one left like about 20 to 5. So... I was out of work by like quarter to five. That's like an hour and 15 minutes earlier than um, my knockoff time, which was perfect and was what I was hoping um, would happen because it's actually the start of a holiday here in Bermuda. Um, so I went and did my grocery shopping, which is great because I got to do my shopping before it was too much of a rush at the grocery stores. Um, you know, once everybody's coming out of town between like 5.30 and onwards. Um, and yeah, now I'm just home catching myself because it was still kind of busy in the stores. It's usually like a whole bunch of people um, in the stores last minute whenever it's a public holiday here. Um, what public holiday is it, by the way? A very important one. So... We are celebrating Emancipation Day, which technically is August 1st. Uh, the first day, I mean, which is technically August 1st, but we usually have the cut match game on whatever the la like the Thursday and Friday is. So for instance, like this year, August 1st is a Sunday, and the second is a Monday. So the actual holiday is gonna be tomorrow and Friday. Um, but yeah, so we celebrate Emancipation Day and the August 2nd, um, which used to be Sir George Summer's Day, a colonizer. Mm -hmm. They just couldn't be happy that they that we were free, so they had to name the second day after a stupid colonizer. But <laughs> as of, I think, last year, it got renamed to Mary Prince Day. So, for those of you that don't know who Mary Prince is, she was a Bermudian slave. Um, she also um, was sold to um, slave owners in the Caribbean, and I think she ended up in England as well. Um, and she actually told her story to a woman who turned it into a book, a story about her life as a slave in Bermuda and the other places that she was, that she was a slave in. And... Um, yeah, the book is a pretty important piece of literature. Um, so yeah, she's like one of our national heroes. And so the second day is officially Mary Prince Day. We got rid of that stupid colonizer. Mm -hmm. Alright. So I'm attempting to vlog um, this weekend. There's a lot going on. And usually I'm a homebody, but my best friend Nadia is here. Um, she's been here for a few weeks. And this is like... Um, I think this week coming is her last week here, but it's a holiday weekend. Like I work full time. She's been working remotely, even though she's been home for the month. Um, so we're going to have fun this holiday. Guys, look who I found at Harmonize <laughs> with these candles. And what you said your business is called? It's Faithful Fragrance. Faithful Fragrance. So she has these candles. There's four different scents. Vanilla, Loving Lavender, Patient Peach, and Eternal Eucalyptus. And they each have a Bible verse on them. And they smell amazing. You guys, we are stuck in the parking lot. I'm laughing, but it's not funny. People wonder why I don't got a driver's license. Where am I driving to in this city? <laughs> oh, we're stuck in the parking lot. This is like, this is disgusting. 
So, look, hot match camping in City Hall Park. Oh my God, no! <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we got out of the parking lot. Um, I think the little booth that um, we went to to. I don't know, validate the ticket or whatever. I don't know. I don't drive, so I don't know about these things. <laughs> Wasn't working, and so it was it was tacky, though. So uh, we couldn't get out. It kept saying that the, the ticket was invalid. I called the place, and they're talking about, oh, it's after hours. The call set is closed. Like, the parking lot is 24-7. Why can't I get hold of anybody? Whatever, but it worked out, so I just got in the house. And I'm going to go um, just freshen up, put on my pajamas, and I'm going to um, sit down and redo my dip nails, and I'm going to watch He-Man on Netflix. Oh, you guys, I'm so bad at vlogging. <laughs> so I went to brunch with a few of my friends. We went to Huckleberry's at uh, Rosen Hotel. Honestly, I would highly, highly recommend that place. I had, um, I want to start a picture of my food because I didn't vlog too much. Like I got a shot of the menu and then we got like refeeded inside and then my friends and I were catching up and you know. Um, so I have some pictures, but not really any video footage, but yeah, I had a vegan dish. It was pan seared king oyster mushrooms with a sun dried tomato risotto and like some little crispy kale situation on top. Oh my gosh. When I tell you I wanted to order a second one to go, it was so good. Like, this is my second time going to Huckleberry's for brunch and I've been highly impressed and I would definitely definitely recommend it it's a cute spot whether you sit outside or inside so if you're a little food bougie you know if you like bougie food experiences like me this place is right up your alley and they also do afternoon tea i haven't had afternoon tea from there but i have heard some pretty good reviews about it There's so much to choose from So, yeah, but I need to hustle. It's getting pretty late in the day. I have some work to do before I go back out. My room is a hot mess because, of course, I was scrambling at the last minute to get ready for brunch this morning. <laughs> but it's okay. Everybody was pretty much pretty much late. I got there, like, we were making 10. I got there at 10 past 10, which was fine. Um, my other friend um, got there, like, just around the same time as me. And then... Um, our other two friends came a little later because um, there was like a time and date mix up but yeah nonetheless we had a really good time like I said I would definitely recommend uh, going to Huckleberry uh, so yeah I'm gonna go tie, um, close this down I'm gonna clean my room uh, I'll sit down I'm gonna have a little bit of lunch I'm so greedy. I just had this big brunch. I'm having some lunch and then in a couple of hours I'm gonna be going to a buffet dinner. <laughs> but but yeah, so yeah, I'm gonna have my lunch, uh clean my room. I got some work to do on the computer, so I'm gonna get that done and then I'm just gonna like freshen up and change to be ready for dinner later.